Live from the Sydney Big Day Out 2003, we're about to bring you a taste of PJ Harvey live on stage as she joins us right now. Polly Jean Harvey, who is touring this year uh, with the group that she split up 10 years ago. Is that right? <laughs> uh, it's not quite right. Not quite right. What bit of it is right? Um, You're well, here. I did start playing with Rob Ellis 11 years ago, and then he and I split up in 94 uh-huh and we didn't speak to each other until 98 wow yeah was that because you you had an argument or you were just very busy we had very big arguments really yes. what was the argument about i can't divulge oh. that information publishing and royalties nope no i hope it wasn't about fashion because uh one of the things that, that pj harvey is famous for is as we're looking here at the cover of q magazine from a few years ago and from seeing you get around the big day out is uh, an astonishing array of different outfits. Do you, do you travel with a big semi-trailer load of, uh, of of different clothes, different outfits? Well, sometimes I do, yeah. We're never, never a trailer load, but definitely a suitcase load. But this time uh, I've only brought two outfits with me, so it's You've not, only brought two? It's not as complicated. So this is one? No, this isn't. Oh, this is just, this is not a stage outfit. This no. is the interview outfit. This is my walking around the shops outfit. <laughs> Going down to Sainsbury's outfit. Well, we have a very special present for you. Oh, is that for me? Today, this is for you. It's, it, of Thank course, you. it's designed in Australia, but made in China. I love and, it. Oh, absolutely brilliant! And you can use that to hang up your uh, one of one of two outfits. Oh, God, you're good. Thank you. Now, with with with, the, with that coat hanger in mind, we're in fact going to test you on these Australian okay. animals. And okay. you haven't been to Australia very many times. No, no. So I don't know how well you're going to do. Do you know what this animal is? That's a koala. That is a koala. Absolutely correct. All right, we'll go with another another kind of easy one. Do you know what this one is? That's an emu. An emu, absolutely correct. All right, let's go with a tricky one now. It's a wombat. It's a wombat. All right, do you know a what? Echidna. A kid, bloody hell. Who's been teaching you all this? One of the bands. Now, uh, Josh Homm from Queens of the Stone Age, we talked to him a couple of days ago and he said that, uh, you know, the one act that he, he has to check out uh, each day at the Big Day Out is, is your show. There's been talk about you recording with him in the desert sessions. Is that... Is that just talk, or is there is there a chance that he might come on one of your records, or you'll come on one of his? There's, yeah, I'm definitely doing the desert sessions. We we go down to do that in February, right after this. Wicked. So I should be there, and um, yeah, we we you know we, we like each other's music. I love his voice, so you, you never know what's going to happen until it happens. We can't say it's happened, and we're both busy people, but you know, uh, the desire is there. Is there any chance that either of you will get up? during each other's set here at the Big Day Out? Um, if we ever have enough time to rehearse anything, probably. But uh, at, right now, we've tried a couple of times and I haven't just have no, no time. So we'll see. Are you a, are you a fan of his uh, earlier work with Caius at all? You're more a, a Queens woman. I'm afraid I'm much more a Queens woman. Um, I, ha I have listened to Caius, uh, but I also really, really like lots of the Desert Sessions work. So I'm a big fan of that too. Fair enough. They, uh, I think you have to be really stoned to listen to Caius and be about a 19-year-old boy and kind of, yeah, you've been burned by my lighter. What is that? What's the favourite song of yours that you're doing uh, in your set at the moment? What's the one song that you go, oh, yeah, Rid of Me or uh, 50 um, Foot Queenie? Gosh, uh, which one am I really enjoying? Um, funnily, I mean, it's not in the big day out, so I'm enjoying playing Hook, actually, which was on the second record but it's not in the big day out set but in the big day out set to bring in my love is is pretty good fun to play right now uh-huh and is it, it, that's not a song that you did with nick cave that was a that's another song entirely no, that was henry lee that duet yeah no to bring in my love was on the to bring in my love album 95 yeah and uh, your most recent album stories from the city stories from the sea won the mercury prize it was released in 2000 we were just talking before about the release of your next album is there pressure for you to re release something as soon as possible um no i've i've not felt any pressure to do that and i think you know i'm in a the lucky position of having made quite a few records already and uh people are just they just know another record will come when it comes and i i've been very hard on myself this time with what i consider good enough for a new record and I've written about 40 songs but I'm afraid there's only about six that I like right now <laughs> so it could be a little bit longer but I've started working on it and I'll finish it off um, probably towards the end of this year. Okay I believe you've also been uh, talking about collaborating with Captain Beefheart who is, who is, is it Gus, Gus Van Zandt? 
Were you, uh, you been on the phone to him at all, talking about songwriting? What, Beefheart? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine, Don. Um, Don Van Zandt. Don, Don Van Vliet. Van Vliet. I don't know who Gus Van Zandt is. Gus Van Zandt's a film director, you oh, fool. Oh, God. Reef. All these vans, I mean, they're all, you know, Vans Warped, Van Zant, Van Vliet. Don Van Vliet. Don Van Vliet. I only know him uh, as the captain. I don't know where the collaboration ideas come from. That's definitely not on the cards. Oh, OK. And Don just does not do music anymore. He's, he's just pure, purely a painter and a drawer and an artist. Uh-huh. Is there a chance that he might do some cover art for you? I don't think so, you know. I think that's all speculation, really. But no. Uh-huh. Have you, have you hooked up with him personally or more a kind of ring? Don, what do you think of this we, track? We have a phone relationship. <laughs> Don, Don loves talking on the phone and he, you know, he's, uh, he doesn't go out much. So we, we speak to each other on the phone quite regularly, though, and he's uh, definitely an enormous help to me if I've got problems. He's someone that I will speak to. Oh, cool. Yeah. Obviously, his experience in the music business. If you don't know who Captain Beefheart is or if you think that he's really Don Van Zant. Then go and buy a Captain Beefheart record. What, what do you reckon is the best Beefheart record to, to start with? Trout ma Mask Replica or with. Lick My Decals Off Baby? I don't know. I, I, it depends. You know, if you want to ease someone in gently, I'd go for something like Clear Spot, which is one of the more accessible ones probably, or Dock at the Radar Station. But then if you want to just dive in at the deep end, I'd say Trout Mask. Trout Mask. Trout Mask Replica, a great song. Now, we have uh, some catering for you. I this is a bit like the Fred Durst cap moment. This is, I don't know if you've tried it, this is a, an Australian delicacy by the name of a Vegemite, Vegemite sandwich, yes. Would you like to have a nibble for us? It's, we've spread it very thinly today. We haven't, we haven't chopped it very well either. We, we had to cut it up on the plane, so we had a plastic mm. knife, Sally. Does that work for oh, you? Oh, it's fantastic. We, we have a whole jar here for you oh, to, to take away. Oh, really, may I? Thank you. And we're also wondering, mm. seeing as you knew Australian animals so well, is it, can you name five famous Australians? Well, any five Australians. Mick Harvey. Mick Harvey. Nick Cave. Nick Cave. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. He's actually a Kiwi, but we've we've co-opted him. Okay. Um. 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 Oh no. PJ Harvey on the spot, uh, live at the big day out. Um, the music couldn't name anyone. Just interrupting my thought. A tennis player. Yes. Very good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> we have a few of those. <laughs> Failed miserably. Look at that. You. Me? No, you're not Australian. No. Are no, you? no. <laughs> I'm from out of space. <laughs> what about Kylie Minogue or Danny Minogue? She doesn't count. She's not a person. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is promo moment after promo <laughs> moment. So the music could only name Jason Donovan, which is kind of, you know, is, is that all we've managed to show to the world in, in, in the 200 years that we've colonised this country so, so bastardly? Can, speaking of bastards, can you name the Australian Prime Minister? No. Excellent, excellent. That's what we wanted to hear. <laughs> and very lastly, we should let you just go and poodle around in, in your shopping gear. <laughs> uh, with, with tennis in mind, you're probably thinking of Leighton Hewitt. Possibly, or yes. Pat Cash, Leighton Hewitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you were going to play a bit of tennis, which member of the Big Day Out would you want to partner with you in doubles? Josh, because he's enormous. Yeah, he is bloody enormous. He's bloody enormous. He's just kind of, you know, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah that's him. That. Whoa, that's him. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say to your Australian fans while we have you here before you wander off into the ether to um, get on the phone to Captain and say, this guy just called you bloody <laughs> Don Van Zandt? Uh, yeah, I'll just say that I apologise for failing miserably to name your <laughs> Prime Minister. No, trust me, that's, that's something to be proud musician. of. I'm just a musician, what can I do? Exactly, exactly. Musicians, they rule the world. Polly Jean Harvey, thanks for talking to us. We no look forward to your next record. And uh, in the meantime, lick my legs, I'm on fire. You're not rid of me. We'll be here with you for the next three and a half hours. Let's take a look at PJ Harvey live on stage right now. Good fortune live here at the Big Day Out 2003. Thank you, PJ.